scholarship congratulations thank you ma'am uh, i did second rank in the first attempt that is we and did the half in now uh, add it to that we come from the same college yes uh, that uh, acts spark for the whole thing and the same department yes. for the worst so so uh, more than you i am overwhelmed about it and the uh, my heartfelt congratulations to your parents also thank you ma'am people generally would want to know what is that magic of first attempt how yes. that magic played with you in the first attempt ma'am uh, for me i think what worked was uh, doing the right things at the right time ma'am like before giving the first attempt i took solid time of one and a half year ma'am like uh, i started in 2022 and i applied for 2022 uh, prelims and i completed the prelims portion also and i was scoring 80 90 in the mocks but i realized that if i give that attempt i will not be able to clear the mains however because within that 3 months i didn't select the optional also so i skipped that attempt and i took that one year time along with my job to prepare for the mains also and in this meanwhile i understood i also started analyzing that year papers with the kind of preparation i was having if i write the 2022 paper at home serious environment like a, a exam environment if i am able to clear the cut off or not i was clearing it but i knew that exam environment would be different and i did the same thing for mains papers also uh, as i prepared in that 3 months for main syllabus i then wrote that papers by myself uh, and i realized that okay i'm able to write some quality answers if i give some more time maybe another 6 months i'll improve a lot and i then went ahead with the same strategy ma'am like i trying to understand what others uh did to clear the exam like seeing whatever video i could on youtube like any topper uh, or anyone who cleared the exam i would see uh, subject specific videos or videos of sociology toppers and in that way i think with the doing uh, the right things at the right time like following limited resources and revising them multiple times giving mock test and analyzing myself that thing worked for me i think ma'am i generally tell the students you know, have one and a half years before you start Six months, you finish your optional. One year, I like gradually. Rarely people you know stick to that to clear their preliminary. And the second thing uh, which I generally tell the student is the mom won't give you a preliminary only if your main is done without finishing your main preparation. So I think uh, I am seeing those things being executed in you. I think that's really beautiful. And we all remember your interview. I mean. even when i talked to the board members or several students who watched your interview they absolutely liked your interview mock interview and uh, it was like uh, uh, speaking your heart out and it showed the maturity of uh, your preparation i think your entire work that you have done so that gave a very beautiful uh, picture at the interview and we were pretty much sure that this boy should be there in the list he will be there in the list so a couple of more words you can tell about your experience with us in the interview preparation yes ma'am uh ma'am uh, here when i came to give the interview the previous interviews that i gave in hyderabad i was not very confident ma'am uh, i improved over the corrections that i got over there and personally when i sat through that interview uh, at sosin is ma'am uh, i felt more comfortable in the kind of questions and all i gave the interview with a cool mind and also the suggestions were very constructive there were few uh, good things that was pointed out by the panel members the chairperson sir uh, who pointed out some sociological terms that i was using were to be used in the final interview as well and even ghp raju sir suddenly asked a question in between uh, of my interview about why i want to get into or why i was the right candidate for civil services the kind of uh, questions that were posed also were not something i was used to but i felt that i could uh, uh, handle those questions in that situation gave me a confidence i can do the same in the other in final interview as well and uh, similarly i want, went back and watched the video ma'am video and the uh, feedback that was given and i saw my own mistakes especially in usage of some terms like when i was mentioning about some areas why metro is not being developed in hyderabad mm. i a uh, slip of tongue of yes, yes. those corrections made me conscious of not doing the same things and uh, even the other feedback that i got from one ma'am about civil engineering questions that i could not give up to the mark and that helped me realize that it's my subject area and i need to improve it on it more so in this way it was very constructive and uh, one of the confident mocks i could say uh, that made me believe more in myself now that uh, you need not have to give another attempt after the first attempt it's like you know so any plans 
What plans for the next few weeks before you go to your foundation course? No, no plans as such. One, there are few places that I wanted to visit with my family. Uh, only few plans like that, and I am thinking I'll just give the prelims because okay. if the mm-hmm. service allocation is not taken, but that too, I'm not very sure, ma'am. But okay. uh, these are the things, ma'am. As of congratulations and uh, all the best from Sosnaya's Academy and from myself personally. All the glory. Thank you so much.